Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day video diary and today as it happens it's a very nice day. Look at it, it's so nice outside. Um, the sun's shining, it's warm, next door are sunbathing. Beth and Ben are walking around in like tennis shorts and a dress, Ben's in the dress. It's lovely and toasty and warm outside, that's, that's the good news. But I have been since half past six sat at my desk working hard, so I don't know. But it is actually, I've got my window open and everything, and it is actually quite warm for this hoodie as well. That's saying something. Swap to my thin one. What's been going on today? Today, basically, that's charged now. Um, we have been working. I sorted out my video and stuff this morning, have myself some breakfast. Um, because I'm leaving here to go to Lovelies on Wednesday, um, bread budget is not an issue, so I have toast every day, which gives me a good break from the, the mountain of crunching that I've been munching through. I was then going through all of my notes and stuff for uh, pattern analysis and the pattern analysis coursework, which I'm about to start. Um, well, start, I say start, like, figure out and finish, theoretically, um, before the dinner today. That's the plan, Stan. And then hopefully we'll be able to get something else done as well. But I doubt it. We're going to have a damn good fucking go, though. <laughs> and yeah, we've been having a whale of a time. I also did a wash and dried my clothes, which was on there. Um, and that's that, really. That's... It's about all. We've been working in our gym jams. Only recently just had a shower and had um, lunch and stuff. And now we're working on some MATLAB, which is a brilliant thing. And the weather is nice outside. And I do want to go outside in the nice weather, but got work to do, yo. And said work needs to be completed near a internet connection as well. So it's time to get back to it. We've had a nice lunch break for about an hour. Um, it's time to get back to work, boys. And time jump. And we'll get back to go to bed because it's nearly midnight. Um, we, well, it's been a bit of a, of a friggin' eventful, stressful afternoon, to be honest with you. God damn it. Uh, our freezer broke down for a bit. Um, we've realised over the past two days, well, I noticed it a couple of days ago, but then it seemed to fix itself. Um, but then today, we went in and literally everything in the freezer's just casually defrosted. Just like all the bread's gone a bit like. Mainly stuff like bread, like meat hasn't defrosted or anything like that. That holds its temperature better, but pizzas. Bread, all defrosted. So we're like, how, what the, why the fuck doesn't it work? Da, 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 da. Trying to figure it out. Um, and it sounds like it's just off. It sounds like it's not even doing anything. So um, I went in <coughs> to figure out why the hell it was going on. I could hear nothing coming out of it. So uh, I turned it off, turned it back on again. Oh, no, turn the thermostat up um, to go for, for like as cold as possible. And then it kicked it back up again. I'm like, okay. It's weird. Uh, then an hour later, it just gone. It wouldn't work again. So, because I'm a genius, I realise you've got a low battery, so I'm gonna have to keep this quick. God damn. That the um, uh, what it was happening was was the thermostat at the back was getting blocked, so that the thermostat thought it was colder than it actually was, because it was getting uh, cold, caught by something that was cold, because the freezer is bloody full at the moment, because Cat's got like an entire farm on her thing. <laughs> She's got like seven million chicken breasts and stuff. Um, and then um, that's the one with like the fan on and stuff. So I was like, right, what the hell do we do then? We was thinking about taking, I was thinking about taking the freezer stuff to work and asking them if they could look after it for a while because the landlord couldn't come and look after it till tomorrow. So I was thinking of that as an option. I'm just asking to borrow their freezer for a bit, <laughs> which would have been funny. Um, but yeah, but then I had the idea of just creating a channel. I guessed that it was this thermostat thing. And then I created a channel at the back where the air can flow properly. And then it worked. So we fixed it. In between doing that and stressing about that, I also managed to do maths. I think I've got the maths. I think I don't know. I think if the problem is all this work is so hard. There's like a lot of it and it's so hard. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, the graphics I've decided I'm waiting through till Tuesday so I can ask some questions and be like, look, what the hell am I even supposed to do? I just don't understand. I know all the logic and I know all the theory and I'm like miles ahead on that, but I don't know what to do for the coursework. I just don't understand. Um, the maths, I think I've got it. I'm going to talk to Harry or someone, see what he thinks he's got, and just see if I'm on the right lines or not, I don't know. So yeah, otherwise I cracked the whip on my group coursework, just to say like, hey guys, I'm going to be doing this when I'm on the train to Lovelies, so you get on this, 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 good boys. Um, I then, uh, what else did I do? I think that was it. I think I then went to go and have lunch. Had some dinner, which was chilly, which was delicious, as per usual, because I cooked it. And then came in here, and I've been chilling to be honest with you and i shouldn't have and i feel guilty about it um but i've been relaxing playing xbox um because the boys play xbox on a sunday night so i thought i'd join them um however 
I do have lots of programming to do, so I shouldn't have. Um, tomorrow morning is programming day. We're going to be doing prologue all day, essentially. Um, I'm going to be getting up at 6.30 in the morning, sorting out the video and stuff before I go to university. I've got a lecture at 10, so I'm going to leave here at 9, so it gives me about two and a half hours in the morning to get my video sorted and all that kind of rubbish, which shouldn't be hard because it's only a short one. I'll basically get rid of all admin kind of stuff so that I can spend the whole day doing programming. Um, we're going to bash out as much prologue as I possibly can tomorrow, um, and I believe that's about all we've got on the agenda, unless we start Java development Depends though, I don't really want to stop doing prologue. I might do Java development for a bit of fun to do a database in Java, which is not what it's designed for, but you know. So it's really annoying. Like, we're doing Java to make a database, which no one uses Java to make a database. We're using prologue. No one uses prologue. Fucking no one. No one in the world has used prologue in years. Why are we doing it? Teachers JavaScript or teachers. Fucking, I don't know. It's because it's a different kind of language. It's a logical language instead of like this, 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 this. So technically, we've done an OO, we've done a um, procedural, we've done a functional, we've done da da da. So we've done all the categories, but we're doing stuff that just isn't relevant anymore, and it's really annoying. So, but yeah, so that's my plan tomorrow. It's programming day, Java, and Prolog, mainly Prolog, bit of Java. Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put you on charge. I forgot to put you on charge this morning when I noticed you were on low battery because um, I was working and stuff. It has been productive today. We have got a lot of notes done and stuff. We've sorted the maths out to a certain extent, I think. Um, so we have done a relatively, de a relatively decent amount of work. Um, however, I'm going to have to call it there for a day because it's midnight. Um, and if I go to bed now, I can then get up early and then I can stay up late tomorrow. I'm thinking of staying up very late tomorrow in order to get stuff done. So, yeah. <sighs> well then, I will see you later then. Oh, look, moths in my room. Hey, moth. Hey, moth. How the fuck did you get in here? I must have come in through the bloody window when it was open earlier. Oh, just hitting you into stuff. Sorry about that. I will catch you later.